I wanted to talk about hate groups. Now what I think constitutes a hate group is a group of people that either thinks that an entire demographic of people are inferior just for happening to fit that demographic or they just don't like that group of people and they don't really have any truly rational reasons for it or they might think they have rational reasons for it but they have a hate for a particular demographic of people and uh, You know, I had taken the video that I made about me thinking that MGTOWs are a hate group of gender separatists. I took that video and put it in the playlist of videos that I either don't agree with or don't want to share or just don't like anymore. It's unlisted, but it's, it's there in that playlist. And... I'm starting to feel that I might have to take that back and put it as a public video again. But there are some things I said in there that I I do disagree with, you know. I do disagree with the idea that it's necessarily the same thing that um, Elliot Rogers, Elliot Roger, had uh, the same type of message that he was pushing out. There are some similarities, but I wouldn't I wouldn't put them as the same enough to say that they're pushing exactly the same message. I think any sort of hateful message about a an entire demographic graphic of people uh, is not that great. Now, if some of you are going to say, well, you're pushing out a negative view of the MG Taos, well, it's just like, you know, that's the same kind of argument that saying that being intolerant of intolerance is the same thing as being intolerant of anything else. It's, it's a bullshit argument. Truly. That's like someone saying that if you know, being, being intolerant of racism is the same thing as being intolerant of a race. <laughs> you know, it's just an absurd argument. Um, so you know, don't try to use that shit on me. Serious. Um... But when I tried to, to say this about MGTOWs, about them being a hate group of gender separatists, I was met with people that were furious with me. They're saying, oh, so we're like Nazis and we're, we're, we're like the KKK. And I'm like, no, I didn't say that. Okay, let's be clear about something, okay? Maybe people don't realize this, okay? A white separatist is not the same thing as a white supremacist. A white separatist is not the same thing as a KKK member. Okay, white separatists just want to live away from other races. They don't want to have to deal with other races. That's their views. Now, the thing that they do have in common with the KKK and white su su uh, supremacists is that they think black people are inferior, or for the most part, they think that black people are inferior. I'd say 99% of them think that black people are inferior. Enough of a percentage that you can make the statement pretty definitively. Okay? The problem is not that they want to live separate from other races. That's not the issue. The issue is their beliefs about other races. The issue is their belief about their own race. That's the issue. And the parallel that I draw with MG, MGTOWs, I always call them MGTOWs, but it's MGTOWs. The, the parallel that I'm drawing is MGTOWs generally believe that women are inferior. And they think that when the laws try to make them the same as men, and especially if the laws favor women any bit more than men, 
that that makes them furious and it makes them want to be around women even less. But the main problem is their belief that women are inferior. Okay? If MGTOWs simply just were saying that they just don't want to deal with the hassle of the differences between the way our society teaches our genders to be, then I wouldn't have take any issue. I don't care if someone wants to live away from, from a certain demographic. I don't give a shit about that. I don't give a rat's ass about that. And really, you know, MGTOWs can, can believe how they want and live how they want, and that's fine. But personally, if we're going to label white separatists, if we're going to label them as a hate group, then we should equally label other groups that think that an entire demographic of people are inferior just for being that demographic, just for being something that they're born as, then MGTOWs should be labeled a hate group as well, as far as I'm concerned. Now, if some people want to come by and say, well, they're not all that way, well, you know, enough of a percentage of them are the same thing as with uh, white separatists, that it doesn't seem to be an unreasonable label to, to, to give them. So, again, you know, you can believe what you want. You can live how you want. I'm not stopping you. I'm not telling... I'm also not telling racists not to be racists. I just want people to be honest about where they're coming from. And I think people should be labeled as what they are. A hate group should be labeled as a hate group, as far as I'm concerned. Some people think, well, you shouldn't put that label on them. And it's like, yeah, you should. You know, cults which I'm not defining the way that, that Christians define a cult. Um, you know, where it's anything, any religion other than Christianity is a cult. No, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, cults, like what I think 12-step programs are. You know, they, they kind of teach you shouldn't associate with those that aren't in, in a 12-step program and you need to always keep coming back and all that sort of thing. There's a whole bunch of things that 12-step that programs kind of have about them that are kind of cult-like, okay? I think cults should be labeled as cults. I think hate groups should be labeled as hate groups. So when anyone tries to run across one of these hate groups, they're not going to be under the impression that there's some loving, beautiful, Disney-like thing. You know? I think Scientology could, it, 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 it like, uh, verges on being a cult, you know, verges on it, you know. Uh, people should know what they're getting into before they get into it. I mean, it's like cigarettes having a warning label on them. If we stop talking about the, health, the, the bad health effects of cigarettes, there are, there are eventually going to be people that could look at a pack of look at cigarettes and think it's some good thing and that there's not any health issues with it you know um, people should be warned and about what something is about I don't have a I don't think there should be an issue with labeling a hate group as a hate group now if you are going to try to claim that MGTOWs are only about people that don't want to get married. Uh, I'm sorry, you're full of shit. You're full of shit. There are plenty of people out there who don't want to get married. This, the, the, the MGTOWs are not about that. It's, it's, it's an entire philosophy about men and how men should be, how men should think of women, how men should think of their place in the world. 
It's an entire philosophy. Until there are a number of MGTOWs out there speaking against those that would say things like uh, uh, that, that women aren't even oppressed in the Middle East, that the real oppression is against men because they, they have to buy women things. You know, if, if there is a massive speaking against that sort of thing by major people who call themselves M MGTOWs, uh, if there's a major thing of, of people speaking against that type of, of that type of message, then I might be willing to say that MGTOWs are not a hate group. But I'm not seeing it. So, you know, you're free to believe what you want. But if you're hateful, if you think that, or you think that an entire demographic of people, which constitutes half the population of the planet, if you think that half the population of the planet is inferior, I'm sorry, you should be labeled as a, it, it, your belief and those that share that belief should be labeled as a hate group. It should be labeled as a hateful belief. If you don't like that, then don't have a hateful belief. Try to be more positive. Try to look at the world in a more positive manner. To me, it seems kind of simple. If you disagree, Please talk about this in the comments of this video. Please. Um, I will try to be more reasonable in my discussions. You know, there were some videos I made over the past couple weeks where I was saying, well, if you even suggest this, I'm probably going to mute you or something. I was very angry. I was very angry. I don't want to take that stance anymore. I don't want to be someone who mutes and blocks people for, for having re a really, really horrible, ugly, nasty belief. I don't want to do that. Um, because there is a, still a chance that, you know, that person who has that belief may not be a brick wall. There may be a way to get through to those people that yeah, uh, your beliefs are kind of fucked up, and this is why, you know? There may be a chance that people can see past that kind of thing. And I don't want to give up on people in that way, and I feel that's what I was doing before, and I'm sorry about that. I'm actually really sorry about that. And I know I lost a lot of support from a lot of people when I said that. And I don't want to be that way anymore. I want to try to be strong about this and not give up on the people that I feel uh, are just spewing hate. Um, I mean, if I'm willing to have patience with, um, at least a certain amount of patience with uh, fundies, uh, fundy religious people, then I should have at least a little bit of patience with other groups that I feel are just as hateful. So... Anyway, let me also state this. When I am talking about MGTOWs, I am not talking about MRAs. I'm talking about MGTOWs. I don't want to try to put those two things together as the same thing. Okay, I know very well not to do that anymore. I have learned a lot over this past week. So, I just need to make that clear too. Thank you.